Well, I'm on the Stad Amsterdam. Uh, I came here to tell the story of about the decline of the ocean pastures and how the oceans need a little dust uh, to bring back the productivity to the state that they were in 30 years ago. And that dust is uh, iron mineral dust, you know, just ground up rock, ground up rock dust. Uh, which is, which is uh, dust in the wind. Well, you know, the ocean science community that I'm part of has been studying this topic for more than 20 years and uh, conducting experiments out to sea. And we know that if we put as little as, uh, almost, it's almost like putting a teaspoon of our uh, multivitamin iron mineral into a square kilometer of ocean, that that's all the ocean needs to come back to health. So. We know it works. We've tested it in, in many, many projects out at sea. It, it always produces uh, restores, restored plankton blooms. And uh, the plankton blooms are what everybody in the, everything in the sea eats, right? All the food chain, the fish and the whales, everything. that's in this piece of iron metal. It's, it's about iron mineral dust, right? It's the same material that Mother Nature uses. And the amount of dust that I have in my hand, we only need to put this much dust right, in each square kilometer of ocean to bring it back to life. So the argument is about, you know, should we add a teaspoon of dust to a kilometer of ocean or not? This one ship here today, there's 50,000 ships of that size on the oceans of the world today. And the problem is the, the impact of 50,000 ships have doing commerce. And the argument is about whether or not we allow one ship of that 50,000 ship fleet to be dedicated to saving, to giving something back to the ocean instead of taking from it. So it's, it's not an argument, you know, one ship out of 50,000 is not an impact, right? It's the 50,000 ships that are the impact. Ultimately, this is a story about fish because the plankton in the ocean is the pasture that the fish graze on. And the problem is that, you know, without the pasture, which is disappearing rapidly, we'll have no fish. So, you know, I'll, I'll live out the rest of my life being able to eat fish, but my grandson that was just born this year, you know, he won't be able to talk to his children as I've talked to mine or take them to a fish restaurant. But, you know, what we have to do is we have to make sure that we restore the health of the oceans so that they can continue to support fish populations and we can continue to to inhabit this planet with a healthy ocean that's that's what we're trying to do